You won't find exe files, that is executable files, or DMG files if you're more familiar with Mac OS X, that is an Apple disk image file. Instead, here in Ubuntu, we'll find .deb files, which serve essentially the same purpose. Now, a .deb file is a Debian package file. Debian is a version of Linux that came before Ubuntu on which Ubuntu is based. So Ubuntu is a Debian-based operating system. Therefore, we can install Debian packages in Ubuntu. In this module, we'll specifically be looking for Google Chrome, downloading the .deb file, that's a .deb file, and installing it through the Ubuntu Software Center. Let's navigate now to google.com forward slash chrome to bring up the Google Chrome homepage in Mozilla Firefox. Here on the Chrome page, we can download the application and it automatically knows that we are running Ubuntu and therefore you see here our options. We can download a 32-bit .deb package, a 64-bit dot deb package or 32 and 64 bit dot rpm packages do not download the rpms as they will not work on ubuntu an rpm package is going to work on fedora OpenSUSE, red hat centos other such versions of linux but for ubuntu and all other debian based operating systems we'll be downloading the dot deb package now remember whether or not you installed the 32-bit version of ubuntu or the 64-bit version of the operating system i installed the 64-bit version and so i'll be downloading the 64-bit dot deb package for google chrome now we can accept and install and remember that this end user license agreement is a part of why Google Chrome is not available in the software center. We want to save this file and it will automatically be saved in our downloads directory. So once this download completes, I'll show you how to navigate to your downloads directory. Our download is now complete. And so we'll navigate to our downloads directory by launching Nautilus over here, our file manager by default in Ubuntu. And we'll click on downloads and find Google Chrome stable current amd64.deb. If we double click on this package, you'll notice that the Ubuntu Software Center automatically opens and it will automatically load that Debian package file. Notice the warning here to only install this file if you trust the origin. We do trust the origin because we know we got it from the Chrome homepage, and so we'll click the install button. This will take care of our installation as with any other application that we found in the Ubuntu Software Center. You may be prompted for your password during the installation of new software. In fact, you will be prompted for a password with just about any installation of software. Don't worry about that. It should not be a problem. Just make sure that you type your password in correctly and then click authenticate. You can see now that Google Chrome has been successfully installed. You can also see the message that this program is run from a terminal and the code in order to run it from a terminal. Don't worry, that's not actually correct. Some software will be run from the terminal. Google Chrome, however, does not have to be run from the terminal. You'll notice that there is not a launcher icon that has automatically been added for Google Chrome. However, clicking on the Ubuntu logo and then typing in Chrome will bring up our familiar Google Chrome icon, which once again, we can click hold and drag over to our launcher. I'll put that right above Firefox here. Now we can open up Google Chrome by clicking on the icon and it will ask, as is standard on any operating system, whether we want to make Google Chrome the default browser. I'm going to uncheck that as I prefer Firefox and we can also choose whether we want to automatically send usage statistics and crash reports to Google.
Yet again, I'll say this is one of the reasons that Google Chrome is not found in the Ubuntu Software Center. Some people consider this feature tantamount to spyware. Now, I don't think it's anything to worry about personally, but that's just helping you understand why Chromium is in the Ubuntu Software Center and not Google Chrome itself. I'll go ahead and check that box, hit OK, and you can see that Chrome has launched here in Ubuntu Desktop 14. So what about that message that said we needed to run Google Chrome from a terminal? Well, we know that's not true. We found our Google Chrome icon and we were able to launch it using our graphical user interface. However, as I am trying to ease you into the use of the terminal, go ahead and control C to copy this line, Google hyphen Chrome hyphen stable, or you can memorize it, it's not that long. Open up a terminal and now with control shift V you can paste that in and hit enter and you'll notice that in the background Google Chrome has launched so that is one way that you can start Google Chrome from the terminal and in fact you can start any application from the terminal I've already told you that our file manager is called Nautilus if we want to start Nautilus, we can type Nautilus into the command line and hit enter. And you'll see our file manager, Nautilus, opens up as well. So that's a simple way that you can use the terminal to execute programs to open up applications on the system. However, at this stage, there's no need to do that with Google Chrome or any other application presently installed on your Ubuntu system.